Welcome to U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. Hello, my name is Steve. This is my 86 uh, Mustang GT. I uh, bought this new in 1986. We've had it 34 years, my wife and I. I originally bought it for my wife. Right now, she's got a 351 base dart motor in it. It's 438 cubic inches, runs on E85, 98 millimeter turbo. Uh, right now, uh, well, eight years ago, we had it on a chassis dyno, made 1,070. It might make a little bit more now, which is great. And then, what's your love with uh, horsepower? Right? Like oh, well, we've had the car long enough. We ended up uh, going with the 302 in nitrous and a 351 nitrous. Now with the 438, uh, makes a ton of power. Last time we had it at the track, it went a 797 at 176. Total street car, we drove it here. I don't even own a trailer. So there you go, really, really. Really wow, look at all this. And then do you know about did you do all this work? Did you have other people that Oh I have friends that actually helped quite a bit. Friend Doug Heap, great guy. Uh, another Brian uh, Burris, engine builder. So a lot of guys that have helped out there you go. with the there you go. with the vehicle. Well they did and you did an incredible amount of work. And the I mean, it just, I mean, look at the size of that uh, uh, radiator. Is that like a four core and... Well, it's a, it's a good, it's radiator that they make for the Mustangs to uh -huh. fit it. They have 16 AN fitting, so it fits right in. Wow. No wow. modification, really, so... Wow, wow. A very, very fun car. Sure, sure. And then the, uh, and then these are the, uh, oh, that's an overflow, this is a... Well, this is for the uh, vacuum pump, uh -huh. so it just keeps vacuum in the motor, keeps the oil in it. There you go, let's see, go. there you go. And what's the uh, uh, size of that turbo? That's a 98 millimeter turbo made by CRT, Custom Racing Turbos. It's a Midwest turbo Good. company. Uh, they've done a great job. Things lasted uh, eight years now, so you're going on nine. Wow, wow. And then the, uh, we're looking at the interior now. That's factory interior, still got the factory dash, factory uh, carpet. <laughs> the actual uh, e-brake there is my parachute release. This car does need a parachute when I race it. Sure, wow, wow, wow. How often do you go to the track? Not much, I haven't been out this year. Really Hopefully right. we'll go in October. Right, it's been right. a strange year though, if everyone knows, it's 2020 and right, it's right. been a very strange right. year. And, and it, if you look on the back here, this is funny. When we originally did the car, uh, we named it Cause for Divorce. <laughs> it hasn't caused a divorce, but it's caused for divorce. There you go. There you go. There you go. And then the, uh, I, I bet this is just a thrill to drive. Oh, absolutely. Uh, on our way here, we had a little fun. Uh, did he? Did he? Oh, uh, yeah, we had a new charger come up. The guy rolled down the window, and I said, oh, here we go. <laughs> There you go, there you go, there you go. I, I already know what the answer is. Uh, he was, he, hey, he ran real well, but uh, not well enough. How's that? Right, 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 right. Now the, uh, tell me about these uh, tires. What do we have, Mickey Thompson's? Uh, yeah, these are drag radials, basically just for street driving on it. Uh, I do run a, a radial slick at the track that's about the same size as 9x28. Right. So anybody that, those oh, small tires, it's, a, it's hard to get it moving. Sure, Once sure. you get it moving, it goes. And then the, uh, um, I noticed that you have some type of memorabilia in there. Can you talk about that? Oh yeah, this is the cover of Ford High Performance. It's a magazine that was out in the 90s, and uh, that's my wife on the cover there. She was doing the burnout. <laughs> Originally bought the car for her. Uh, it, she still drives it. That's she enjoys incredible. it. We both drive it. it, it this car is drivable. It's what's amazing about it. Right, right. Makes all that power, but yet you can drive it on the street with E85. Anybody run a boosted car, you got to run E85. This thing just never overheats. So you can sit in traffic with it. Hi, everybody. This is my better half, Annette. Uh, actually, when I bought her this car back in '87, uh, she was pregnant with twins. <laughs> so, well, we have four kids. Still have the car. A lot, lot of fun. 
She has been my inspiration for doing this. We've cruised and done car shows and just enjoy fun. Uh, one of our favorite our favorite hangouts is Lake Street in Aurora. So, so do you have like days that you have? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you drive the car and... Oh, Thursday, no, it's, we, it's a weekend we share warrior. share and share point. <laughs> it's a weekend warrior. Yeah, that is great. We can take it any time out, but... That is great. And then the, uh, what, it, what are your thoughts on how the car drives now? Right now? Uh-huh. I think I'm going to go over to a Corvette. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Oh, wow. And then the, um... And then the, how long have you been into cars, or did it come with oh, the, the I'm from high school. Oh, really? She's no. a drag racer back when oh, she really? was in high school. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Well, your dad owned an automotive shop, and she yeah. used to kind of sneak the keys on a few of them. And <laughs> well, you know what? I need my brakes done on my four-door sedan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe I can uh, hire I had her. a Volkswagen. I had all kinds of cars. Well, she had, she had a 69 Mustang at one time, and that's the reason we actually got a Mustang, because back in 86, 87, when I was looking for a car for her, I did drive the IROC, but it had the automatic 350, and the Mustang was much more fun to drive. Right, right. So, she was always a Mustang girl. I actually had a 68 Camaro. She turned me to the dark side. She turned me to the dark side. So, I'm glad she did, man. This car has been... This is an awesome car. Been yeah. a lot of fun. There Love you. driving oh, I it. I bet. And then the, uh, uh, do you, are you the, the, the glamour behind this? Uh, awesome. Yeah, she's it. She makes the car look good. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and uh, speaking of which, can we hear how the car sounds? Well, we can start it up, but it'll make a lot of noise. Yeah, it's okay. We're at a car show. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> go ahead and take Angry Bird out of there. watching this video I hope you enjoyed it this is an incredible 1957 Chevy convertible Corvette it's beautiful I hope you like the video share it give us a thumbs up like it and let's watch the next one